Welcome to Burning Charles back, and it's been a while. Man, i just so busy in the summertime, but hey, I made time today to make a video. I hope everybody had a safe and happy holiday. The 4th of July it was fun. I hung out with friends, family, and we shot off some fireworks, and it was pretty cool, and here we go. Today we are talking about Lake Mead, Lake Powell, and Lake Havasu this evening, and it is warming up out west. It is getting really, really warm. Look at Fresno, 100 degrees. Chico up here, 100 degrees. Los Angeles is the chilly spot at 75. San Diego, 70. And then you have 84 at Alpine, Arizona. 107 down in the desert. We scoot down in here to Lake Havasu, 102. And Las Vegas, 102 as well. Page is at 95. Tuba City, 93. And then you start getting over here in the mountains. You could see 66 at Aspen. Very comfortable at Grand Junction 89. The Green River is 83. You come up here to the Flaming Gorge up here you have 73 and as you can tell there is no precipitation coming within the next 10 days to the system other than a little bit right here at the beginning right through here and then a little bit up here but just not a whole lot. It is to the divide and west and finally they're getting some rain over here much needed and that is a good thing. Minnesota is kind of dry a little bit in the next 10 days. The whole west is starting to dry up but hey it's summertime it's to be expected this is the time where they're worried about evaporation from the heat let's look at the temperature map here and see what goes on you could see we get to thursday and it's warm again friday another 100 degree plus up there at vegas page is going to be close to 100 good on up to saturday saturday is going to be scorcher as well over 100 degrees there 98 at page we keep on scooting here another 100 day it just looks like it's going to be 100 plus 113 in vegas here in a couple days that is pretty warm 106 at page let's take a look up here this is next thursday at 3 p.m and they're talking about big heat wave across the west 113 116 in phoenix that is just insane and very very warm and it's to be expected we're starting to move into the middle part of july we're starting to get to the hottest point of the year and it will not be too much longer we will be scorching hot and this is pretty warm texas is real warm and you have even down in st louis is 91 not real hot for this time of year hundreds plus but you got to remember in the midwest it's very moist over there seattle's comfortable at 82 and we come up to alaska and you can see 64 up there in anchorage fargo North Dakota 70 degrees and that is what's going on there I don't need to keep on iterating that let's go out to Lake Powell and see what the water has done since the last time we have spoken we are at Lake Powell water level here and you can see that the snowpack is starting to come to an end with these warm weather 89% and 115% for the average so it is starting to come down some and the inflows are starting to show that your inflows have really fell off as they normally do this time of year we went from from the high 70s just a couple weeks ago down to 27,000 in but you still have 18,000 coming out so now the lake is going to start to drive so my prediction was completely wrong we are at 64.50 feet from the water low so that is pretty good and you can see that I don't think we will even get to 70 feet we might but it just depends if we get any more precipitation. But we are 44 feet up from one year ago. But you got to remember that they're letting out 18,000. They were only letting out like, I'm thinking around 10,000 last year, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look and see what it was last year at this time. You can see it was, yeah, around 9,000 last year. 11,000 is normal. So they're letting more out than they normally would. They're trying to fluctuate both lakes to make sure that they're sending plenty of water down there. If you remember, they held a lot more water last year than they normally normally do and usually their outflows are generally anywhere between 12 and 11. I would start to think that they would start slowing these outflows out before too much longer. I wouldn't think that they would want to let it go being that they're already close to the 7 million that they have to release. Now they do owe Lake Mead some some water because they took water last year and they said they would replenish it if they had a wet year. Well, now that that has come to pass, so now they're going that's why they're releasing these higher outflows flows than they normally do. You can see that it's been 18 to 17 the whole time and then last year was 
9 to 11. So usually that's what you're normally getting out. But hey, look at this on your inflows. Like last year were 8,129. Your outflows were 9,000. So and the year before was even more bleak at almost 4,000 in. So but then you have other years like in 2019 where you have 5,700 in. So on this date. So it goes all over the place. This year is higher than normal, but not as high as 2019. However, we had some tremendous inflows that came in earlier of the year and it stayed pretty consistent. So we are right about where we need to be. Unfortunately, we are not going to get that 100 foot mark. It was a hopeful dream and there was a lot of precipitation coming. So we were kind of, I was thinking maybe, but hey, you never know. Had they not released, if they just released 10,000 CFS instead of 18,000 all this time, then they probably would have been at least 20 foot higher, closer to the mark. So that would have been close to 85 feet instead of 60. 64 feet but hey we'll take 64 feet it's better than losing 64 feet right so we are in the positive and looking good and we continue to roll on you can see that the current water level is 3584.42 feet on july 4th pal was within three inches of this elevation on december 19 2020 there are currently three trillion one hundred and forty five billion seventy six million two hundred and eighty three thousand seven hundred and twenty five gallons of water in lake powell that's pretty impressive and you can see that they are thirty nine point six eight 8% of full pool so we will take that it'd be better if it was at 40 we still have an outside chance of getting there but with these inflows slowing down it's really hard to say what they'll end up being so time will tell now we are 26,000 on Monday on Tuesday we were at 27,000 before that we were at 30,034 you can see that it's kind of coming down so it is what it is and we will continue to roll on here we are going down to Lake Mead next here we are at lake mead's water level and you can see that this thing's really come up we're at 1057.02 feet wednesday july 5th 2023 at 3 p.m the level is 71.98 feet below full pool of 1229 changes since yesterday 0.9 and let's go to this other graph here lake mead is at a high for the water year up 13.99 feet from the low lake mead is 14.09 feet from one year ago so that is pretty impressive who would have thought last year at this time that we would have been 14 feet higher i guess i might have but I'm an optimistic. I don't focus on negative. I try to focus on positive, and I always have, so that is good. They have released so far 5.9 million acre feet, and that's 65.57% of the minimum required of 9 million acre feet, and next year they will be conserving much, much more. I think that number is going down to 7.5, so there's still big cuts, even though it's not really being discussed, and they still have this August deadline line that has to be hit so they had 19,766 CFS in and 14,107 out and this website's always a day behind so this is not today's readings these were yesterday's readings they were 0.9 today and 0.9 yesterday and you can see that Lake Mead is up 31.64 percent of full pool so it is lower than Lake Powell but it is what it is because Lake Powell is holding back much more much more water as you could see that is what's going on there last year's inflows were 9,000 so you're getting 10,000 more CFS in compared to last year and that we will take for sure you can see on Monday they were at 20,000 CFS so that's pretty impressive they're only releasing 14,107 out so let's roll down to Lake Havasu next for the final stop tonight here we are at Lake Havasu's water level and your water level is 448.99 feet msl wednesday july 5th 2023 at 4 30 p.m the level is 3.99 feet above full pool which is not the case because 450 is full pool this is the only downfall about this website they really need to get that fixed because it's 450 not 445 450 is up here and you can see that it come really close one time in august 6th of 2020 was only 0 0.6 feet away so today they're 1.01 .01 feet below full pool of 450 so do not follow this 
chart because this chart is misleading big time. So let's go down to the other graph of Lake Havasu next. As you can see, this one here is right, but this one always lags a day behind. So yesterday, the water level was 1.73 feet below full pool of 450, as you can see there. By content, Lake Havasu is 94.49% of full pool, 619,400 acre feet. Lake Havasu is down 0.21 feet from one year ago. So that's what you got going on there. Your inflows are 13,070. Your outflows are 10,506. So they're definitely retaining much, much more water than what they're getting out. And changes since yesterday from today, you can see that it is down 0.34 inches. And that is all we have for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope all is well with all my friends down at Havasu. You guys have a wonderful day and we will talk to you on the next one. God bless.